Dr. Michael Persinger, a psychologist and neuroscientist, did research on the effects of electromagnetic radiation on the brain for a Pentagon weapons project. He has worked in the field for 40 years and funded by the Navy and reportedly by the NSA as well. Dr. Persinger perfected a means to make experimental subjects feel that they had been abducted by aliens or had an encounter with angels or God through the use of a modified motorcycle helmet equipped with solenoids to send electromagnetic pulses through the frontal lobes of the brain. Quote, Human experience of God can be generated by a process that has nothing to do with whether God exists or not. Dr. Persinger published the paper on the possibility of directly accessing every human brain by electromagnetic induction of fundamental algorithms, 1995. Quote, a process which is coupled to the narrow band of brain temperature could allow all normal human brains to be affected by a subharmonic whose frequency range at 10 hertz would vary only by 0.1 hertz. Random variations of noise within the matrices could potentially differentiate between individual brains. In other words, individuals could be identified by the specific characteristics of their brain output. He goes on further. Identification of these sequences could also allow direct access to the most complex neurocognitive processes associated with the self, human consciousness, and the aggregate of experimental representations, in other words, episodic memory, that define the individual within the brain. In other words, a person's memory, consciousness, and sense of self can be fully accessed and modified by electromagnetic means, especially a person's personality, can be completely shaped, much like the research of Dr. Ewan Cameron, who sought to do so by more primitive means. Dr. Persinger says the brain processes can be circumvented by direct induction of this information within the brain. The basic premise is that the synthetic duplication of the neuroelectrical correlates generated by the sensors to an actual stimulus should produce identical experiences without the presence of that stimulus. What Dr. Persinger is saying is that virtually any mental state can be artificially injected into a human brain from an exterior source the most frightening thing is that the means for doing this already exists in a fully operational form on a worldwide basis. Quote, the power levels for these amplitudes are similar to those associated with the signals generated globally by radio and communication system. Within the last two decades, a potential has emerged which was improbable, but which is now marginally feasible. This potential is the technical capability to influence directly the major portion of the approximately 6 billion brains of the human species by generating neural information within a physical medium within which all members of the species are immersed." Unquote. Dr. Persinger's message, minus the jargon, is that the entire human race can be controlled through the use of electromagnetic influence piggyback on television and radio networks or other technological means. Effectively, all consciousness is due to electromagnetic patterns generated within the brain. What we do is imitate what the brain normally does and apply it experimentally. Right? You know, where are these thoughts coming from? Those thoughts came from the Neuroscience Laboratory at Laurentian University in Sudbury, Ontario.